Hi there. Are you ready to carry on following the adventures of our pilots who are fighting for our planet's future? Yes, yes please. please. Open, Open the, the hangar door. door. Well, then, as promised, I am going to talk about the place chosen by Solar Impulse for the start and finish of their round-the-world trip using just solar power. Abu Dhabi, capital of the United Arab Emirates. So then, why, in your opinion, do you think this place was chosen? Because the sun shines all the time. If they'd chosen Ireland to recharge their batteries, they'd never have taken off again. I agree, Grumo. Ireland is not well known for its sunny climate. <laughs> Yes, see, it hardly ever rains in Abu Dhabi, and the amount of sunshine every year is incredible. Furthermore, for many years now, the United Arab Emirates have been using solar power, and thanks to it, been gradually developing new technology. Just take a look. Wow, look at all those flat screens. They've all warped. And if our eco-pilots really favored Abu Dhabi, it's probably because the Shams One complex is nearby. And this is a huge solar power station with more than 250,000 mirrors, providing power for more than 20,000 homes. Let's see if you remember. This is a parabolic mirror. It traps and intensifies heat received from the sun and passes it onto this tube. Heated up to 400 degrees, the tube takes the heat to this tank and then to this turbine, which turns it into energy carried by these pylons. Mazdar is more impressive. This developing eco-city produces more energy than it uses and recycles all its trash. They don't need fuel here. Everyone travels in these little automatic electric vehicles. And to combat the heat, they have found a way to cool the air but without aircon. Take a look at this tower. They use the wind to reduce temperatures in the entire area. Hey, PC, would you like me to cool you down with some of my wind? Just try it, because I've got just the thing to make you hot under the collar. But, Maestro, I just don't get it. They've got loads of oil over there. Why should they really care about solar power? It's a very good point. The United Arab Emirates do still have vast oil reserves, but like many other countries, they're getting ready for energy transition. For what? Energy transition, Grumo. It's the progressive abandonment of using polluting fossil fuels like oil, gas, and coal for energy production in favor of inexhaustible clean sources of energy, like the wind and the sun. This change is very important for our planet's future. Yes, it's our future. That's right. Future is clean is the slogan chosen by Bertrand Piccard and André Borschberg. Like us, they believe it's hugely important to find solutions to this issue. And they've already started by developing a range of clean technology being used in their plane and destined to become part of our daily lives. To make our vehicles pollute less, for example? That's right, Pissy. And also to make us save more energy in our homes. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Anyway, I think you understood this special expedition has the aim of delivering an important message to both current and future generations. We must use more and more of this clean technology to save our cherished planet Earth.